All right, we're here at uh, Natsuno Warehouse in Kawasaki. It's uh, it's basically an arcade, but everything inside of this one, which is pretty special, is like it's like themed in like old school Hong Kong, kind of like the gangster times kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. Um, as far as I know, this is the only one that does it. Uh, the other one I've been to is just an arcade. And uh, what's up, uh, my cameraman for today? Well, also a special guest is Dario hey, DeAngelis. Hey, hey, what's hey. up? Yeah, he's yeah, here. He's, some, he's, he's on for the ride. Yeah, so my friend Phil is actually the one who showed me this place. Um, he spent some, he spent quite a bit of time here. Um, yeah, so I brought the crappy weather from Kansai with me. Um, it's raining like a mofo. But uh, we're going to be in there, so it's all good. So let's see what the entrance is like. Put these umbrellas away. Yeah. Welcome to the warehouse. They ah, 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 ah. get little Cantonese in the background. This is like big trouble in China. Yeah, right. So this is what the first floor is like with all the arcades and all that good stuff on the second floor. All right, let's go to the second floor. Yeah, on the second floor now. It's not real though. Uh, I think those are roast ducks. So this is the start of the second floor. You got the UFO catches in the back. Got some DDR. And you got some old, older school machines here. And you got some. I guess it, yeah, like roast duck. It's not real though. All these retro games. Yeah, all these retro games. Got some Mario Kart. Time Crisis. Basketball game. Yeah, wow, that is Tetris. Hey, let's, let's, check let's check it out. Alright, Dario's gonna try the Tetris machine. Look at this thing. The controls completely sold it to him. It's just two gigantic joysticks. Is, is that one player? Okay, okay, so one player gets one huge major thing, maybe. Alright, let's see what you got. What? Oh man, I'm gonna keep it on the seat fast. Oh, I kind of got messed up already. Yeah, a little bit. All right, look at look at that skills. Oh, oh no! Yo, Mega Light is not looking too good, man. Uh oh. Oh, uh, you haven't cleared a line yet. Yeah, I kind of forget how to play. No. Oh, you still alive? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Wait, what happened? It was just by itself. I think, I think you got saved. Oh, wow. Alright, All right, redemption time. I, I would put that on the right side. I got it. So how do I play again? I have no idea. I've never played this one. Uh, no, the color doesn't matter, you just gotta clear the lines. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There you go, there you go. Uh oh, that looks like trouble, man. Oh. Wait. I, I thought it was game over, but. Oh. Alright, so this is uh, what a punching game looks like in Japan. Um, the ones you get in North America, I mean, I haven't seen this one. But you just punch it and it shows you a number, but this one has the animation. So it's really cool if you hit it hard enough, you can just ragdoll and see red. But like, like, you can see, you can see real, like a macro. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. 
Let's see if Patrick has what it takes to be a Sonic Blast hero. Right? Yeah. How do you move it? Yeah. So the yellow one's um, choose, and the right one is select. like, yeah, that's select. Okay. Good, because I messed up last time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So stage one is gonna be a bank robber. So if I'm strong enough, I can land all it. If not, well, <laughs> knock him out. Yeah, I'm gonna get robbed. <laughs> Oh, he went flying. He ain't getting my money. He ain't getting my money. Oh, shit, he's back up. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. <laughs> T-Rex, that one's hard. This is the one I always get stuck at. Oh! Oh no, you okay, gotta do it no, again? Wait, you got rid of his head? Yeah, no, no, stage not finished. Oh no! Uh, so I, I wouldn't make it in the dino age. Uh, uh, the modern is are good. I can deal with bank robbers and uh, max trucks, but uh, you bring me back to the time machine, go down to the dinosaur, and uh, I'm dead meat. All right, Dario's trying this um, ice cream UFO catcher, but the sign says if you win, please first notify the staff member the ice cream dispenser on different machine. So I don't know what this is. I guess this is an ice cream, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, let's do it, Dario. All right. Maybe I can get a better view on the right side. Alright. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Alright, so so it's, it's possible. It's possible. I'm gonna have it calm down a little bit, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll do it five seconds. Five, two, four. Three, two, one. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Give me some ice cream. Oh, oh. No ice cream. No ice cream. <laughs> yeah, alright, Dario sucked. Uh, yeah. Not necessarily what he wants, but just uh, to show you how to T-Rex actually works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, work these UFO catchers. Definitely. Uh, if, if he wins, he's gonna get a uh, lawn chair. I don't know why that's useful because in, in Tokyo, no one, I, I mean, if you're living like us, you don't have a lawn. Yeah. But hey. I said I can just drink a beer in front of my apartment. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, he's so going for it. The trick is, you see the claw. What you have to do is make sure that when the claw opens, it is sort of sliding off the top of the prize so that when it closes, it can pull the prize up. But I was going to say before, the first thing you need to do is ask staff, because they'll usually help you position it. Mm -hmm, but we couldn't find one, yeah. so we're going solo on this one. Alright. You can only press it one time. I think I fucked up. Alright, let's, yeah. let's see, let's see. No, yeah, it, it was off. too far, right? Yeah, I thought you could press it more than one time. Yeah, no, most of them only give you one shot. All right, round two. And as you can see, just like that. Fucking <laughs> full of bullshit. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's a it's a heavy ass chair. It's a heavy ass yeah, chair. Yeah, I'll put it on that. Yeah, but anyway, I mean, as a rule of thumb, that's generally. How you do it, but yeah, more or less, usually. more or less, more or less. Unless but it's, uh, unless it's like uh, sixty yeah. kilogram. That, that's that's it. Uh, it must be a very good lawn chair because uh, they do not want to let it go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, so we're at what's called a pirikira machine. So basically, it's like a Japanese photo booth uh, that basically makes you look glamorous and uh, very good looking. Uh, 
It just takes regular pictures to you and it kind of photoshops it. it. Makes your eyes look bigger, it makes your lips look a little bit nicer. Um, so it works mostly, it works pretty good for Asians because it makes their eyes bigger. Uh, but if you've got rounder eyes like Dario, you might actually want to squint a little bit more. <laughs> because it'll make you look like an alien. Let's see how this Darry and I, we're going to be the couple to the today. Yep. Uh, you want an up high shot or up all the way? Uh, you know I want it up all the way. You want up all the way. That's what 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 no, I don't think so. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> you gotta do something here too. Oh, I do. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, they changed it to English too. Oh, uh, really? Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so you can choose your set. Um, for I'm just gonna choose normal because I don't know anything better. Oh wait, what? You gotta choose something? Okay. Why don't we choose the one with Ted? You want to choose the one with Ted? Alright. Oh wait, we got, we got two of them. Okay. Uh, set, uh, set two. Pigs. Alright, it's bunnies. Done. Uh, mode graphic, mode shot. I don't know what the difference is, but sure, mode shot. <laughs> What's wait, next? again? Um, Oh, this uh, makes it look all graphic and stuff. Oh, That's shit. cool. That is cool. Wow. Right. Yeah, I want to look like her. Yeah, alright. Uh, okay. So, okay, so now when you're ready and you're inside, all your bags are sorted. Um, you just press the middle screen to start, and then it should start a photo shoot. Alright, so it says make sure that your feet are not past the green line. This one right here. And we'll see you on the other side. Alright, so now we're at the uh, corner. Uh, once you finish, they bring you to this uh, special booth and then you can customize it the way you want. So there's the different kind of eyes and all that. Um, yeah. I'll let, I'll let Dario go for it. I have, I have no idea. Okay, well, I want these kind of eyes. Um, well, I want her skin. Which one? This the, one? the middle one. Okay. That's nice. We got that one. Lovey baby. Oh. It's Rakugaki type. Whatever that means. <laughs> That's uh, graffiti, I think. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so now you're just customizing. Alright, right, I'll work on this one, you work on that All one. Alright, let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's about see. This much time. Yeah, I know, they, they put a timer on you, which is, which kind of sucks. If you can't read Japanese, um, it'll be a lot of you just fumbling around, and then by the time you decide what you want to do, it's over. Um, That's right. Let's see, so what, what do I want? Special? Stamp. I want some stamps. Kiss me, baby. <laughs> uh... Oh no! Ooh, we have many shades. Oh no no no! Uh, let's see. Uh, undo. Oh, I undid all of it. Okay. Yo, man, these are too big. Yeah. Well, I did want the ears. Oh, wait, I already have some ears. I don't need the ears. Hey. Uh, let's see. Message. Anyway, you get the point, that kind of thing. Yeah. We'll show, we'll show you the end product afterwards. Alright, so once you're done um, decorating, you got your sheet layout. 
So, uh, I mean, it said okay. Uh, shall we choose then? Yeah, let's just get the same one. Yeah, sure. Okay, then here comes the hard part. You're supposed to put your email in, and you have to do it fast enough before it times out. Otherwise, you lose the digital copies. Who has the... Mario D'Angeli 78. Mine might be shorter. Okay. Uh, oh, picture to send. Uh, which one do you like? Um, I like this one. Okay. And... Maybe you can only choose one, though? Maybe just... Oh, yeah, only... Oh, oh no! no! It's erased forever! Damn! Okay, well, we just got to send both of ours now. All right. We got 30 seconds. I fucked up already. I yeah, up already. yeah. You're on, the, you're on the clock. The thing is, mine has a hyphen. Oh, okay. Sorted it out. Where's the at sign? Uh, it's already there. You gotta... Race against the clock. Uh, oh shit, oh shit, where's my where's my age? Where's, where's my age? Oh no, oh no. It's not working. Uh shit, 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 shit. Uh how do you go back? Oh oh at Yahoo. Oh man. Yahoo. Dude, how do, how do you backspace? Ah <laughs> fuck. Well uh, there's there's the that's the that's, that's the struggle. The that's struggle is real. Game. The struggle is <laughs> real. Anyway, maybe maybe we won't get any of the digital copies, but as lo- at least you saw what it looked like. Kind of. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so this is Dario standing in front of that lovely model. Um, so this is how it turned out. Uh, I don't think we're going to get the digital copies because we both messed up. But I think you, get all, you need uh, to have a Japanese email address anyway. So, it's a little close up on Dario's copy. He, today his name was Aya. And, and your name is A. Ah. My name is A. Ah. There you go, there you have it. That's uh, Pirikira. At least the best that two guys can explain it as. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to play on this. This is old fashioned Street Fighter. Look at this. Patrick versus Joe. Yeah. And look how you play this game. Yeah, you have a control should. stick and then you just gotta bang on the punch and kick button. I'm sure. Yeah, eat shit, Joe. Oh! <laughs> Come on, you get it, get it. Get him. <laughs> Alright, round two. Oh, okay, he's pissed, he's pissed. What? Okay, he, he uh, heard me talking no. shit. How to put me in my place. Oh, no, I think it froze. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Oh, Thank yeah, you. that happened. Tiebreaker. Hey! Oh, I thought you won. Get it! Beat his ass. Oh, fucker. Oh, he got me. Oh, man. Uh, he got you with the flying kick. Wah, wah. Nice try, man. Yeah, oh, wait, what's he saying? What's he saying? You've got a lot to learn before. So- Alright, we're here on the third floor. This floor is um, all games that use like the tokens. They're like metal bait. Uh, it's like games that use those um, those medals, those tokens. Uh, so you pay money, you get a certain amount of them, and then you can win more medals. Um, if you win the jackpot, it's really thrilling. You feel really excited. I did it once at the other one. But don't be fooled. You don't win anything. Like, it looks sick. You win a bunch of, like, fake money. And then you think you can trade it in for money, but then you realize this is not a casino. Um, you can just trade it for more medals, and you play, and you just make more medals, and that, that's it. You just you use the medals to play the game and make more medals. That's all it is. So um, it's fun, but you know, just keep in mind you're, you're not rich. You're not you're not making any money. Don't be fooled. Whose idea I I don't know, but just a little more Hong Kong decor for you here. It's just run down Hong Kong streets. Whoever knew made for good decor. I don't know whose idea it was, but I don't know. Here's my theory. If you go to the bathrooms, they look dirty as fuck, but they're actually pretty clean. But like, maybe the person who like came up with that thing, maybe the bathrooms got really dirty and just like, shit, how can we like make this place so that we don't have to clean the bathroom so that often? <laughs> it's like, well, okay, make the whole place look like run down Hong Kong. And then, oh, there you go. I mean, have you been in a Chinese toilet? Pretty messed up. Have you been in a Japanese toilet? Pretty nice. So this is what the bathrooms inside and that's in the warehouse looks like. So 
So yeah, it looks pretty run down, looks pretty dirty, but it smells pretty clean. How how was the how was the shader? Clean? Well, let's look inside. Alright, just look inside. You didn't you didn't leave any you didn't leave any. Nah. Okay, yeah. It looks dirty, but I mean it the has to like yeah, yeah. well. And I've never seen this before, but basically oh it's a bar of soap God. inside of like a net. And that's this, how you wash your hands. That's so cool, I've never seen this ever. Yeah. But is it Kind of scary, yeah, it? and I feel oh, like yeah. it's not exactly hygienic. I mean, but whatever. You know. Okay, so Darry and I, we're done. We're just gonna exit, and um, yeah, we went to the other floor, and it's gambling for fake money, and we're not it. We ain't into that, boy. So we're gonna make our way out here. Oh, I think she's gonna go for the oh, see time. Okay, go for it. Yeah, watch your step, though. That water looks toxic. And then we took this from like big trouble. And we're out. So that was it. And that's a nowhere house. Pretty sick place.